things and what happened she lost the baby what does that tell you if you think you want to kill me <laughs> i mean one thing must kill a man if you, you're so bitter that you think you want to kill me because i'm here sharing pregnancy hello welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the first time where have you been my name is mabel and you're very much welcome to mabel's nest you guys i am african and because i'm african i'm not supposed to be sharing my pregnancy with you guys I'm not supposed to be exposing my pregnancy out here on social media and this is what I want to talk to us about because I am very much guilty of this. I have shared every single pregnancy, every single pregnancy experience, every single pregnancy scare. I have shared even my delivery. I've shared breastfeeding. I've shared so many things regarding pregnancy with you guys and so I am guilty because I'm African. There are evil people in the world and you shouldn't be caught. Like you shouldn't be caught on social media sharing your pregnancy. I have a lot to say about this and I want to hear from you as well. If this is something you're interested in listening to, then please sit back, relax, and let's get this video started. <laughs> We are Africans and I'm not going to say I don't believe that there are evil people out there. I don't want to say that I don't believe that people can harm you, you know. And for some reason, we Africans, we have sort of like kept our culture somewhere and we have pick the white man's culture and now you find that on social media people are celebrating their weddings sharing their engagements they get a new car and it's out there you're pregnant you're showing people your bomb you're doing maternity shoots you're sharing your pregnancy experience with people this is something that is typically not african okay it's very un-african to do such things but somehow westernization has you know taken over and it is now the order of the day that people are found on social media sharing their lives okay and this has led to people having like different reservations about it um so for me i am pregnant at the moment and i have come out here to announce that i'm pregnant even with my husband i even shared how i did the pregnancy test you know, I have shared every single thing about my pregnancy and this is not the first time I'm doing this. This is not the second time. This is literally the third time I'm out here talking to people that do not know me. People that, you know, of course, I believe that a lot of you care about me, but inside those people that are watching me right now, amongst them are people that do not like me, are people that are waiting for my downfall, are people that are trying to harm me. And I'm not like ignorant of that. So not too long ago, someone that is supposed to be close to me reached out to somebody else, okay? to talk about how that I'm not wise. I'm busy sharing my pregnancy online. You know, as an African girl, I will not hide myself. You know, things like that. And I was disappointed, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like, first of all, if you have such reservation about me and we are as close as I think we are, you should be, I don't know why people do that thing, you should be able to come to me and tell me. People are funny. They think they're close to you and you offend them or you do something they don't like, they go somewhere else to talk about it. It's very funny. I don't understand the idea behind it, but that's by the way and that's not important. You know, and I just felt like, okay, so at my age, as an adult, I'm married, I have parents, do you get what I mean? I have people around me, I've got in-laws. So you think that I don't know these things or I'm not wise or you're smarter than me. You think I, I have not thought about it before I decided to come out here to share my pregnancy. You think that it is, you're the wisest, you know, this is not me addressing this person, okay? Let it not be like I'm addressing the person. I'm not addressing the person. There's this thing that goes on in our heads as Africans where we kind of judge, we judge, we judge content creators, we judge people that want to express their joy in a way they think they want to express their joy. Let me tell you something. When it comes to things like this, right? Things that you consider or you might consider private. Things that you think that should be precious moments that people should share with their families alone. As much as you think that way or you would behave that way, that does not mean that you're any better than me if I choose not to behave the way you want to behave. We are all different. I'm personally, generally not a secretive person. When people say they have secrets, I don't understand. 
because anything I do, I'm always proud of it. Like not like I'm I don't have regrets or whatever, but I don't I'm not a, I'm not that person that hides things or keeps things to myself or I'm not I'm totally not that person. I'm I'm someone that even when I was in Nigeria, I was able to tell people my EDD, I was able to share everything and open up, share my baby's name. So if you do not know, in Africa like I said in my last vlog, in my last vlog, I went to church. If you've seen that video, then you know what I'm talking about. So the Reverend Father asked, oh, when is the big day? When is baby coming, right? And then I shared with him and I was telling you guys how that it's a norm here in the UK where people can ask you, oh, can I touch your bum? In short, sometimes they don't ask, they touch your belly, they ask what gender, they ask the date that you're having baby. And for me, it's nothing because even when I was in Nigeria, as much as it was a taboo in Nigeria, I would share, okay? happily you know because i'm free and i'm open and you might think it's not wise why is it that people that are private <laughs> why do you guys feel like you're wiser than people that are not private and the funny thing about it is that these so-called private people are the ones all up in everybody's businesses they're the first to click these videos they're the first to watch your pregnancy journey they're the first to really be invested in people's lives but they claim to be private they claim you know those people that are private they're the ones that gossip about people the most but they don't want people to talk about them and it's very very funny so you know i feel we're all different and allow people to express themselves the way they want to express themselves one thing was kill a man do you get what i mean there's this influencer recently that just lost her baby right the funny thing about her is, is that she's such a popular influencer but she never shared anything about her pregnancy on instagram she's an instagram influencer some people know who i'm talking about she never shared anything about her pregnancy on instagram because according to her she wanted to shock the world she wanted to just come up and just share the good news you know and just shock everybody because nobody thought she was pregnant but at the end of the day she lost the baby so now she's sharing clips and you know she's been documenting for her um, followers to share with them so now she's now releasing those videos and what happened she lost the baby what does that tell you there are so many influencers also that would share their pregnancies and their babies will be fine and there are people also that will share their pregnancies and they might not make it why because pregnancy is generally a life or death situation do you get what i mean it's something that is very delicate okay and that might be reasons why somebody might not want to share but if somebody else thinks that they want to share then it's okay i don't owe you an explanation as to why i want to share but i want to assume that some of you already know why i share my pregnancy generally i share my life on here when i started this channel it was about i used to talk about sex <laughs> i used to talk about sex vagina that was what this channel was about and then i i changed my niche into travel content so i would travel and share my experiences which is like the niche of my dreams okay but along the line i got pregnant miraculously after how many years of waiting and trying to conceive and there was no hope of me conceiving and obviously some of my subscribers or my subscribers already knew that i was trying for a baby people were already concerned so when it happened i was happy to share and i'm happy to share because i'm not thinking of the negative side okay i'm thinking of the fact that i am a i don't know I am an inspiration to someone that was once in that shoe. You know, I want you to look at me. I always say that use me as a point of contact. Like if Mabel can get pregnant, then you too can get pregnant. That is my joy. And that's why I share. I share the journey. I connect with other mothers. I connect with other fathers. The other day I was sharing about my son when he lost his speech and all of that scare that I had and everything that I did to help him. I got like... Oh my God, I got emails, I got messages from fathers, from mothers, and I realized that, oh my God, I'm not the only one. So it's not just my child. So there's something that that community does for you where you have other people that, you know, are in that shoe or experiencing the same thing and nobody's talking about it, nobody's saying anything. When you come out to talk, you realize that so many people are in that shoe. So many people are experiencing the same thing. So many people are hoping to, you know, achieve that thing that you have achieved. And that is what gives me joy out here. If you think you want to kill me, I mean, one thing must kill a man. If you're so bitter that you think you want to kill me because I'm here sharing pregnancy, come on now. Come on. You know the jazz why they carry. Do you know the jazz under my armpits? Do you understand? And I'm not even, that's not, I'm just really just joking about that. The thing is, there are people even before social media that do not make it. 
when it comes to pregnancy, there are complications. So if anything happens to any pregnant person that you know, don't, don't, please, ugh, clean your head. Okay, clean your heads and don't think, oh, because this person shared, you see, it's good to hide your pregnancy. When they say hide yourself, you will not hide yourself. So let me tell you something. You can never be too careful in life. You can never, I've seen people that have lived life carefully that are no more. Jesus. I don't want to start sharing stories. I've seen people that, see, I know, I don't want to be talking about people. People that live life carefully. They don't eat this, they don't eat that, they don't eat outside, they always clean their crayfish, they always, they condemn everything, they want to, they make their own things at home, you know, at the end of the day, where are they? Everything in this life is risk, you go outside, it's risk, you see no comeback, you stay in the house, some if you come with you for house, just like people die indoors, in the bathroom, you can fall down, so everything about this life is risky, and if you are private, Stay private, it's okay. But what's making you think that, okay, after the baby is born, they cannot still harm the baby? Because after the baby is born, you now come and show us picture. What is making you think they cannot still use the baby's picture and do the juju? What's making you think that if you don't share on social media, you will not meet people in real life? Like you go out every day, you meet people. Do you get what I mean? You meet people, you interact, you meet old friends, people that you didn't even want them to know you are pregnant. They say, they say pregnancy, no, they hide. You meet them every day and they can still harm you. So enough of that crap. The whole mentality. People have reasons why they don't want to share. Some people have shared before and they lost the baby. And this time they don't want to share. Some people have not shared, but they keep they kept having miscarriages. And then this particular one, oh no, I want to keep it. I don't want anybody to know. I don't want to be going out. They will resign their jobs. Everybody has a right to express and do what they want to do and live how they want to live. Don't sit down there. You're not inspiring anybody. Your life is not an inspiration. You only know how to boast. You only know how to boast of things, but you are not inspiring anybody. You're not helping anyone. But you sit down there and point fingers and judge people because you're perfect or because you're private. And you think people that are not private are not smart. Oh, please. Oh, please. Let us hear word. Let us hear word. Don't share your success online. Don't share your this, this, this online. Don't share, come on. I know. Like I said, there are bad people that anybody can harm you. Anybody can harm you, whether you share or you don't share, anybody can harm you, anytime. Do you understand? So, somebody complaining about me sharing my pregnancy in this, my third pregnancy, the person is late to the party. Like, I'm like, ah, this one not talk, they still talk this kind of thing at this stage, are you serious? <laughs> oh my God, I pray for every pregnant woman out there, whether you're sharing or you're not sharing, God will see us through. Our pregnancies it shall be successful there shall be no complications there shall be no loss of life there shall be no loss of blood there shall be no loss of water in the name of Jesus Christ it shall be easy we shall go in and we shall come out victorious and even postpartum we shall be fine to the glory of God in Jesus mighty name amen you guys I hope you learned something from this video you don't have to agree with me if you still think that it's not okay to share i mean share your opinions in the comments i would like to read from you maybe there's something you might say that might make me really happy with think but i'm sharing this from my own perspective my own standpoint and how i reason so feel free to share your opinions in the comments i'll be right there willing and you know i'll be right there to read and respond to you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up help me okay share with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you like my content and you want to see more videos from me thank you guys so much i'm gonna see you in the next one take care of yourselves bye now